and all right hey everybody gingers are here and as most of you are aware i'm usually out of ideas when it comes to samp and yes some of you have commented some video ideas which i totally appreciate but i will join a gang once i do some research i don't want to join any of the gangs you guys might recommend because because i don't know i don't trust you guys you guys might be weird like that all right so i wasn't gonna make a video this soon but the man the legend zdro productions spawned in like when i died out of nowhere and commented Jin space Joe space toe I don't really know where he found the spaces from that's my old house that's why you spawned there and he also commented man why didn't you ask money from me sad face emoji these two comments led me to make a theory Zijo hid money at his old house and is hinting for me to find them so let's get into it guys all right so I started off at the hospital as always and as usual had to run but I noticed the telephone station which said, for those difficult conversations, dial here. I didn't have any difficult conversations at the moment. And just as I said that, I turned around and saw the mythical flying 3am boy running on the street just like that guys. I ran straight back to the telephone, dialed 911 and the phone was like, feck you big dog, not dialing. So I had to run away like a pussy. After running for about 300 hours guys and scoping the neighborhoods, I came upon the legendary Sultan. No, not the turkey one. And no, not the turkey animal. Not the country. That that got very confusing guys. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm sorry. Anyway, anyway guys, I found an unlocked Sultan, took it, repaired it, and repaired it, and did tons of donuts with it. Until I got challenged by the one and only black sultan maybe it wasn't a challenge but i started driving and he started following and chasing me so if you guys remember a while back i said i will show you my driving skills while being chased well here you guys go i started drifting cutting corners driving fast until i pulled out a fast and furious stunt and did a 360 in the air while driving 100 miles per hour. This trick that I did, guys, was crazy and he could not chase me after that, okay? I escaped him with this crazy trick, guys. I landed the car and, as you guys can see, escaped him. And just to make sure, I became a chameleon and blended with the wall. What a mad lad, I know, I know, guys. After that, I stole, a, I stole some military vehicle and drove like a normal citizen back to Grove Street where I got my freeway. After that, I arrived at Zijo's house and I decided it would be smart to first look at the outside and check the roof. Realizing I was unable to get to the roof, I went back and got my military vehicle to assist me. I scoped the area out and saw nothing useful, so I proceeded to enter the house, now owned by Daniel. Now, the house looked really familiar, I wonder why. I did a thorough research, I did a thorough research downstairs and thought that the money had to be upstairs in his bedroom. But guess what guys, the prophecy wasn't true. The only thing that was in the bedroom upstairs was Zijo's pussy, which made Daniel look like gay, since why would he have Zijo's pussy in his bedroom guys? Pretty fucking weird, right? I ran out of the house and proceeded to get on my motorcycle and go for a refreshing ride. I needed some refreshment after I saw that weird thing guys, okay? Until I noticed the 3 a.m. mythical ghost big chick airplane. Oh my god. This airplane was so thick and its thickness helped it move by itself until some maniac in a garbage truck knocked it back. In which case it went through buildings and poles. I was happy to spot it guys. It just went through everything. I was so happy. I was about to end the video when I saw Zijo's ghost peeing on me. Like what the heck, boys? Who does that? Why did Zijo do that? You know the pussy he had in his in, in the house? It came to me, guys, and he started peeing on me. I instantly ran away, went into the police station, got the detective job, and started searching for Zijo. Sadly, he wasn't online, which proved that was his ghost. So I targeted a name with Z, but couldn't find him. Despite all that, guys, I was kind of I kind of gave up on life and became a taxi driver and started helping the city until some fool at the pizza place jumped me. I went after him to show him um, to show him my alpha male potential and ran Ricardo Lopez and Ernie Speeds over. But then both of and ran, but then both of them acted childish because I didn't act childish by running them over. Stop spamming me in the comments, guys, and they both came after me. So 
So Ricardo and Ernie were both after me, guys, trying to kill me. Not knowing who they were messing with, guys, I performed evasive maneuvers and escaped. Well, until so Ernie found me and knocked me out of my car. I ran out of my car and hit like the stealthy gamer I am, guys. You guys know I've played a lot of stealthy games, so I knew these things. And I started shooting at him from the bush, but he ran away. Since he destroyed my car, I had to get a new one. I had to get a new taxi and go after him again. I luckily found him at the pizza place and fought him hard again, guys. I smashed in his car and then again he ran away and I had to chase him all again all over the city and streets. Until he took the fight to the airport, in which case I followed him, guys. We went to the airport so crazy. Here, me and him, he tried to stop me from entering the plane and destroyed, and destroyed the first plane. But I was fast enough to get in the second one and take it in the air, guys. It was hard to control and my adrenaline went up, seeing that he was now after me with a helicopter. I sped up, my plane went down a little bit because of the weight of my balls. It took to do something like this. And I went straight at him, guys. I smashed into his helicopter two times, but nothing happened. It wasn't enough to bring him down. Then I had lost him for two minutes until I saw him once again and performed, and performed a face of maneuvers only the Navy SEALs could do. I went under and above his heli with a 360, tricked him, and brought us both down to the ground like the legend I am. What a legendary story, guys. At least we both came out winners. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.